Welcome to Tech Results with Damari. In this video, we are going to learn about a previous uh, function in Kusto. The previous function returns the value of a specific column in a specified uh, row. The specified row is a specified offset uh, from a current row in the serialized uh, row set. Uh, so there are uh, three different options we have. Uh, with the previous, uh, we can simply provide the column or we can provide the offset value as well. Uh, or there is a third one. If uh, there is a default value you would like to put uh, for empty values. Uh, so we are going to experiment all of these. Also, you are going to learn how to find uh, or calculate the running total by uh, entire table or by specific uh, groups. So that's also part of this uh, video. So let's go ahead and take a look. Here I have uh, prepared some data and uh, I'm going to drop this table and recreate it. Uh, so this uh, table is ready. It's called total sale. I'm going to go ahead and insert some data and uh, now uh, we are ready to uh, take a look on previous function here total sale and i'm ordering by id ascending um, so right there and now what i would like to do i would like to only display id column sale person first name sale person last name and previous id so what does that mean um, so as uh, this previous uh, there's a one here there is no previous uh, before one so for this uh, column uh, let's uh, give a next name it's, uh, i'm gonna go uh, give a previous id right here that's a new name for my uh, this uh, previous function uh, value okay so for one uh, there would be no previous right because there isn't anything this is the first value for uh, this row there would be previous will be one so for this column the one value will display for this uh, for three the number two will display for the as a previous sum um, so let's go ahead and execute uh, so you can see as a visual now see right there for one, as there is no previous, so it is shown as blank. For two, the previous is one right there, so it is shown as right there. And the number for the three, previous is two, so you can see right there. So this is how you will be able to use previous and create a new column with the previous values. Now, if we want to do offset, that means we want to go two rows, three rows, or whatever, then we can provide the offset. Here, you can see that for one, it's not going to be any previous two offsets because there are no two rows above this one. There is a for two, there is also not two values here, so this is going to be blank. For three, there would be true values, so one will be printed. Number four, if you go two steps, so two will be printed. So let's go ahead and take a look. I'm going to give a name to it as well so previous id and uh, that's uh, what i give the name otherwise it will just come as a column one or something like that so now you see there uh, here uh, there are no previous uh, two values uh, above this uh, so fine for two number two rows there are no uh, you can't go two step above and have uh, another row there is nothing but uh, if you are here at this row so for ID3, you can go two step uh, above and uh, see right there, and uh, one is right there. So for uh, number four, you can go right there, and that's the value it will be displaying. So you can have a offset right there. Okay. Now, it does not have to be on the integer values. You can always uh, get uh, from the other columns as well. So let's say you want to get the previous uh, sale. Uh, personal last name you can get that as well so yeah, I can just uh, say previous sale person name equal to something like that and uh, we can do offset or one or no offset or two so you can see right there so this is sale person last name and see there for Ladson uh, it is again two uh, offset two so it is bringing Shazad here for reverse it's bringing Raza here so see the diagonal part of it is going to rows up and getting the values for us okay now what happened with the blank values so if we just run as it is and uh, there are some blank values um, see right there so what we would like to do we would like to fill them so we can use previous with the third option so this is your column that you would like to get the value this is the uh, how many offsets uh, you, you would uh, like to jump on above uh, previous uh, and uh, go up uh, and here is what you would like to display for these blank values um, so i'm going to go ahead and say fill in the blanks uh, so you see right there, fill the blanks. If you can go ahead and more uh, reasonable, I will say not applicable or something like that uh, that you would like to display right there. Okay, so this is a very powerful function and we can use it in many places. Now, let's do the running total. There is a running total uh, function that we can use called the rows uh, come sum. 
okay? So here uh, you're gonna say running total. So I'm saying uh, total sale order by region by item sold. So let's execute this. And now you can see that uh, it is ordered by region. So North America, Europe, Asia, and then sold items, so sold item right there. See right there? Okay, now next uh, I would like to do something like that, project. That means I would like to select these columns and for display. So I'm gonna display ID, sale person, first name, last name, sold item, sold price, date, and all that. And then I'm creating a new column called running total equal to row consum, and then provide the back, back, uh, column for which I would like to calculate the running total. See right there, this is item sold five, three, then uh, three, two, one, one. So if it should be five, then next will be eight, then uh, 10 and uh, 11 and 12. So it's gonna add up the values for the next column. So see right there, so the five and then three is added to five, so eight. So two is added to the eight, make it 10. So this is how you keep going. So now you have a 12 here, added 10 to it, and then make it 12. So we are doing a to running total for entire table across all these uh, uh, regions. Now, if I would like to do the running total for each of the region, uh, I can do that as well. And that's where our previous function is gonna be handy for us. So, so rest of the things are gonna be same as it is, and we will use the row, consum, and the item sold, that's fine. And here, what I'm saying, region, not equal to the previous region. So where the region will be different from each other, in this case, it will start over our uh, running total, okay? So you see there for uh, running total, North America 5, 8, 12, 11, and 12. So after this, uh, what's gonna happen is they're gonna restart because Europe is not equal to America as our previous survey, we can compare these two and make a difference here and then start again our running total from here for just Europe. And then we go at the end, we see that Asia is not equal to Europe here as per our condition and the running total will start calculating again. So that's a very beautiful and very powerful function right there. Let's execute and see. Now you see that five, eight, and this goes all the way 12 and then now it start over so you see for europe it is uh, done till 26 and now our running total five adding two to it and then adding one and this and uh, for asia our running total is this so, okay so this is how you will be using a uh, row consum and previous function and next functions in different uh, queries and getting your required results in Kusto. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe my channel. I will put the code in the description so you can experiment and learn. See you guys in the next video.